Hello friends, this is our second video on compound interest tricks. Hope you saw our first video and now we discuss 4 new tricks. This is our trick number 4 and the question is principal equals to 1000 rupees, rate of interest equals to 10%, time equals to 3 years and we need to calculate amount and compound interest. <coughs> we will take principal 1000 over here and apply 10% on it. 1000 plus 10% of 1000 it will give <coughs> amount 1100. We will write 1100 over here and apply same on this 1100 plus 10% of 1100 it will give you answer 1, 2, 1, 0. We will write 1, 2, 1, 0 over here and apply same. 1, 2, 1, 0 plus 1, 2, 1, 0 into 10% of 1, 2, 1, 0. It will give us 1, 3, 3, 1. This is your amount for 3 years. And compound interest equals to amount minus principal, which is equals to 3, 3, 1. This is trick number 5. And the question is principal equals to 1000 rupees, R equals to 10%, time equals to 3 years. We need to calculate amount and compound interest. In this, we use ratio between principal, ratio principal plus equivalent rate of interest for 3 years. Now we will calculate rate of interest for 3 years. We use formula x plus y plus xy divided by 100. Rate of interest according to the question 10% plus 10% plus 10%. We put this rate of interest in this formula 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 divided by 100 and you will get 21 percent. Now 21 plus 10 plus 10 into 21 divided by 100 which will give you 33.1 percent equivalent rate of interest for 3 years. Now we take P equals to 100% ratio 100% plus 33.1% step second 100% percent one three three point one percent percentage percentage cancel if you multiply 10 in 100 we will get our principal so we need to multiply 10 also in 133.1 which will give you amount for 3 years Compound interest equals to 1331 minus 1000 equals to 331. This is trick number 6 and the question is principal equals to 1000, rate of interest equals to 10%, time equals to 3 years and we need to calculate amount and compound interest. To solve this question remember this formula. 1 1 2 1 ये वाला वन इधर आ जाएगा नाउ वन प्लस टू थ्री टू प्लस वन थ्री वन एंड अगेन वन वन प्लस थ्री फोर थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स एंड थ्री प्लस वन फोर एंड ये वाला वन इधर आ जाएगा दिस इज़ फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर 
this is for second year this is for third year and this is for fourth year now we calculate thousand ten percent of thousand is equals to hundred ten percent of hundred is equals to ten ten percent of ten equals to one ten percent of one equals to point one now amount for three year <clears throat> we take thousand into one plus hundred into three plus ten into three plus one into one which will give you one three three one amount for three years now if we calculate amount for four years we will repeat the same step this thousand into one plus this hundred into four plus ten into six plus one into four plus point one into one this will give you your amount for four years this will give you answer one four six four point one amount for four years now compound interest for three years equals to one three three one minus thousand equals to three three one and for four years one four six four point one minus thousand equals to four six four point one this is trick number seven and the question is p equals to thousand r equals to twenty percent time equals to three years we need to calculate amount and compound interest this is method in which we have to change rate of interest in fraction which is twenty percent equals to 20 divided by 100 equals to 1 by 5 apply this method only when the fraction is in form 1 by some number now <coughs> we take cube of 5 because time equals to 3 year if time equals to 2 year then we take square of 5 so in this question we take cube of 5 as a principal which is 125 now write down for first year for second year for third year we will do 1 by 5 part of 125 is 20 5 for this 1 by 5 25 and for this 1 by 5 25 this plus this plus this will give you simple interest and for compound interest we do 1 by 5 which is 5 for second year and 
1 by 5th part for 30 and this will also give 1 by 5th part, fifth part which is 5 for 2 30 and this 1 by 5th which is equals to 1 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 which this will give you CI now 25 plus 25 plus 25 equals to 75 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 91 this is your compound interest now 125 is equals to 1000 one part equals to 8 SI equals to 8 into 75 which is equals to 600 CI equals to 8 into 91 which is equals to 729 now amount equals to 1000 plus 729 which is 1729 this is your answer now friends you have to solve this question based on previous method. Question number one. The compound interest on rupees 5000 for three years at 8% for first year and 10% for second year and 12% for third year. Question number two. The compound interest on rupees 5000 at 30% per annum for four years. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe us for more video. Have a nice day.